Today I got a brand new Asus Tough gaming laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading on the inside and a clean install of Windows 10. Let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this brand new Asus Tough gaming laptop. The model number is FX505GT-AB73. Um, it's a 15.6 inch full HD display, 144 hertz. Um, it's got an RGB keyboard. This has the b -b -b ninth generation Core i7-9750H processor. It comes with 512 gigabytes of NVMe SSD, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Um, I'm going to upgrade it. What I'm going to put in it today is I'm going to replace the 512 with a brand new Western Digital Black SN750 NVMe SSD. And I'm going to put in a 2.5 inch hard drive, 1 terabyte. It does have a, 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 a caddy pre-installed inside the laptop to accommodate this drive. They were kind enough to even include mounting screws for the caddy here. And I'm also going to upgrade the Wi-Fi card from Wi-Fi 5 AC to the new AX Wi-Fi 6 with an Intel Wi-Fi card. Uh, I believe it's the AX200. Then I'm just going to do a clean install because it's brand new. There's no customer data on it. If you're doing this at home, you could easily use the free Acronis True Image if you're using a Western Digital Drive, if you want to clone it. But in this case, I'm just going to do a clean install. So, without further ado, I'm just going to shut it off and get inside and put in the new parts. So we're going to shut down. And, of course, when you're doing projects like this, guys, make sure you're always protected against static discharge or static electricity. Use an ESD wristband, some kind of an anti-static mat or work surface. Just protect yourself and be conscious of that before you start poking around inside. Now, I've already removed all the screws on this bad boy. There's only two length screws. The four along the front here are short screws, as well as this one here in the middle. The rest of these screws are all a longer size. So just remember you put the short, short screws in the short hole and same with the long ones, all right? So I'm going to use a plastic triangle spudger tool here to Remove the bottom here. Usually I can start, if you start like in a corner, these ones lift up pretty easy. But right here in the seam, I'm going to get my spudger in there. And I'm just going to start sliding along here. You can hear it popping, which is good. Just always be careful around the ports because you got less plastic there. Like I said, I've taken these tufts, op opened up these a lot and they usually come off pretty easy once you get them started. I know my hand and my head is in the way there. That should get us where we need to be. Even along the back there, it lifts right off, all right? There's that. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna disconnect my battery. It's right here. This connector just slides back out of the port on the motherboard. Don't touch anything. You don't have to touch in there, guys. And always use plastic tools. So I'm gonna disconnect my battery real quick, real quick. Just like that, get it out of there. And quickly, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna hit the power button a few times just to discharge any leftover juice in the circuits, so to speak. All right, that should be good. So, first thing I'm gonna do, oh, actually, I'm gonna add more RAM to this too. What do I do with my RAM? All right, I'll get that in a minute. Oh, it's right here, thank you. Um, it currently has 8 gigs of DDR4 in it. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to replace it with a kit. Some Corsair here. Let me grab my thing here. Corsair Vengeance, uh, a 16 gig um, kit, 2666. That's what's in here. Now I've tried 3200 in these exact models. It doesn't support it. It'll work, but it only reads it at 2666. So don't spend the extra money. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in our new RAM, um, 8 gig stick. I just wanted a match set in here for the customer. So they just bought this brand new and wanted 16 gigs of RAM. You could have easily added, you know, 8 gigs to the stick that was in there, but I like doing it this way better on a gaming laptop. Just make sure these seat in there all the way. You get a good click. 
and that your arms are in all the way just like that all right now over here is our ssd i'm going to use a number zero phillips screwdriver and same with the screws I took out of the bottom. And number zero works really well. Have a good, good clean tip on it so you don't booger up your screws. Like I said, guys, I'm doing a clean install on this, so I'm not worried about cloning or anything. Let's get this, get this little guy out of here. All right, so there's the one we took out. And here's our Western Digital Black SN 750 that I'm going to put in. And there is, there's a heat pad here. Oh, wait, before I do that, my bad. On these models here, thanks, I forgot. Uh, I am gonna upgrade the Wi-Fi card. Now, these can be a little tricky. The way they do this with Wi-Fi card is actually underneath the SSD. They got it kind of buried down here. Um, so, before we get in a hurry here and put that in, I'm just anxious to do my clean install. I'm gonna get this right out of the way we don't need that I'm gonna put a heat I'm gonna put a heat pad on my new drive just to be sure these drives come with a the label acts as kind of a dissipates the heat spreads it out evenly but I'm gonna add a heat pad to that just to help out because it is a gaming laptop so our Wi-Fi card is right here we got to remove this tape I'm gonna have to disconnect the antenna wires which are sometimes very difficult let me put that back on <laughs> to get back on so camera guy can get in there and, and see that I got to lift these wires off and you have to make sure you get the antenna wires back on correctly on the new card you know the same way basically okay black to where it's got to go and they're numbered like one and two so anyway let me disconnect these wires they come off real easy but that's so easy going back on so the black goes by the screw, the white goes away from the screw, okay? Unscrew it here. And remove that out of the slot there, if I can get a hold of it. Ah. So there's our Wi-Fi 5 that we don't need anymore. I'll move this here, guys. All right, guys, let's put it in the right slot here tricky to get back in bear with me all right just make sure it goes in all the way and it lines up nicely all right delicate stuff now putting the wires back on like I said I don't know if you can see you got these little connectors here that we have to get our antenna wires back on I'm going to get them out from underneath. Now, like I said, black goes next to the screw. Now, I got a little tool that I made. Sometimes you can get them right back on with your fingers, but I have this little special tool I made here. Seem, seems to help to get them back on. So the first one I'm going to do is the black. I just got to get them lined up. I'm going to fiddle with this for a minute, guys, so just going to bear with me because wires all twisted around here uh. I like to try to get them on the right the first time come on the black one on. Now I gotta get Mr. White back on there. They just kind of got twisted on me here for some reason. There's tension on them. They don't make it easy putting these on. I haven't found a tool on the market that you can buy. You just gotta be patient and not force them on there basically. Gotta get them lined up right is the hard part. Ah, never get it the first time. <laughs> Sometimes I have. Oh, I missed it again. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Come on. All right, I think we got them on. What do you think? Yep, looks great. Looks good. Yeah, I, this tool helps a lot. Yep, we're good. All right, so you get your antenna wires hooked back up. Now we can install our NVMe drive here. Um, where's my tape? So I'm gonna put that back on there. They're, they're not actually touching, but they're awful darn close to touching the SSD and, and this little guy here. I'm gonna cover up those wires. Just like that. All right, now we can mount this. I'm gonna leave that little heat pad in place there. <clears throat> oh darn it, Dale. Oh, I got it, never mind. Just thinking about that tape. Be a nice little upgrade. All right, so we got that, and I'm gonna open my little bag of tricks here real quick. I'm gonna put a heat pad on that. That's what in that box. Hard part is getting this stuff peeled off. All right, we don't need that. I'll line it up nicely just like that. Actually, I'm gonna move it back just a hair. Get on that controller really good. There, just like that. I gotta get that started. <clears throat> I have my little tweezers I usually use for this, but there we go. All right, so we're good there. Now I'm gonna take this caddy out right here for our two and a half inch drives. There's just two screws, I believe. Yep, one here, one here. Again, I'm using a number zero Phillips screwdriver. Now when we turn this on for the first time, it might take a little extra time for it to post, mainly because of the memory, but the other new parts for putting in the BIOS has just got to kind of read everything and figure, figure it out. So we're going to mount our drive in here just like a that. This is just going to give them a terabyte extra storage, basically, more than anything. Certainly aren't fast drives. <laughs> oh, wrong screw pile. Come on. Too magnetic. All right. They stagger the holes on me. Oh, these always do that to me. Let's see if I can get that to go. There we go. Oh, maybe. And the clean install on anything with SNSD goes pretty darn quick. So, we're going to slide this back into place here, guys. Just like that. Put our two mounting screws back in. <clears throat> And I gotta remember to hook up the battery, guys. Remind me, okay? <laughs> oh, I got a lot of these to do today. So now, we have an extra one terabyte of hard drive storage. We've got our new Wi-Fi 6 card in there, our new NVMe one terabyte. Now we got some good Corsair, 16 gigs of memory in there. So we're gonna hook the battery back up. Once you're, again, you know, you're doing this, make sure you're careful once you hook it back up. He's in there, I'm gonna go back in. Just gotta line it up in there, right? Just like that, guys. All right, so we got it back in. It clicked in really good. All right, didn't leave any tools in there? No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have my, my sponges in there, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing to joke about, I guess. But 
So I'm gonna not I'm not gonna put all the screws back in or any of the screws back in until I know everything goes good just in case. Sometimes you gotta open them back up because something went wrong or didn't seat properly. So now with the new parts in there. Now to install Windows 10, I'm going to USB, I got a USB Windows 10 installation flash drive. You can download the Windows 10 media creation tool for free and create one of these. You need an 8 gig flash drive or larger, it's super easy. I have a link down below where you can, I got a video on how to make one of these. So I'm going to pop it in one of the USB ports and turn the laptop back on. It should default to that drive to, to boot from because we have no bootable devices in the computer obviously right now. but we just got to wait for it to post. Like I said the first time it does take a little extra time. Got to be patient. There we go. We got Asus coming up. And I'm not going to bore you with the whole Windows 10 install process. That's pretty straightforward. And I got tons of videos you can watch where you can, if you want to see it all, you can. Should be booting off our flash drive right now. So there we go. We're going to choose English here because I'm in the U.S. Quick install now. I like these tough laptops. They're affordable gaming laptops. This has a GeForce GTX 1650 graphics in it. No, it's not the 2060 or 2070, but it does pretty well. Quick through this stuff. We're going to go to custom here. And always running this problem. I believe it's drive. What do you think? It's a tough one. I'm going to try drive one. No, I'm going to go drive zero. Yeah, I got a little. I should have went. That's all right. We'll find out in a second here, because they're both exactly the same size drives. You can usually gauge it by how fast this process goes here. There's no labels on those drives, so it's kind of tricky. I'm going to let this go, guys, and I'll come back when we're just about done installing Windows. So I'm not going to bore you with all this. All right, so I'll be back in just a few. All right, guys, just finished installing Windows. It went pretty quick. Of course, it's an SSD. Didn't need the flash drive anymore. Uh, let me go real quick. First of all, I'm going to open up my task manager. And we're going to go to more details, performance. Oops. Ah. Memory. There's our 16 gigs of RAM. And let's open up File Explorer here. I want to just check my... Boom. There's our SSD. One terabyte. I'm going to right click on the start button here and go to disk management. And there's our other one terabyte drive unallocated. I'm going to simply right click on it, go to new simple volume. I'm just going to hit next, next. You could put partitions on it if you want, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it at one terabyte hard drive. pop up in just a second here boom so there's that now we got all of our hard drives or our hard drive and our SSD showing up there you can right click on these and go to rename and name the volume label anything you want pretty much so there we got a nice upgrade and I, I got to get all the drivers I'm going to go to Asus website and get all the Aurora stuff for all the gaming and all that kind of stuff you can see we got a lot of devices that need to be installed in here um, and there's our Wi-Fi 6 card already showing up in the device manager, Wi-Fi 6 AX200. So we're good on that. So yeah, I'll get all the updates, uh, stuff from Asus website, drivers and whatnot. It'll be a nice little upgrade. So I hope it was helpful, guys. I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.